I had just been accepted to UW Madison when my father sat me down and told me that going to college was a huge mistake. He wanted me to follow in his footsteps and become a residential property manager, which is the fancy term he made up for landlord. There's no money yet, botany, he said. Besides, studying flowers is for sissies. I told him botany was my passion, and his response was, your mom dying made you soft. My resentment towards him is what pushed me to become a brilliant botanist. In the end, it turns out I made the right decision. The world didn't end overnight. The signs were there early on, but it took years for the USA to collapse, mostly because people didn't believe the pandemic was as bad as it really was. While this was unfolding, I applied to every underground shelter I could find. Over a dozen responded begging me to lead their agriculture department, but I chose the shelter that allowed me to bring A plus one. My father. Turns out the apocalypse didn't have any use for landlords. Yes, I partially did it out of spite, but I also wanted my father to be proud of me. I wanted him to see how difficult my work was. I was given a very limited amount of farm space and water. I had to meticulously plan every crop in exact amounts so that the shelter could survive indefinitely and practically nothing but veggies. My crops were working, too. None of us had left the safety of the shelter for years. As far as we knew, there was no world left to return to. Then disaster struck, years into the apocalypse. Someone had sabotaged our seaweed tank. Of all the crops to destroy, they picked the single most important one. I called for an emergency meeting, demanding every member of the shelter attend. I explained to the shelter what I found, and how our seaweed harvest had been permanently destroyed. The nori we made from drying the seaweed was the only source of vitamin 12 in our diets. Without any more seaweed, we'd probably make it about a year. Then we'd all suffer nerve damage, and after that, heart failure. I begged everyone in the room, if you know who did this, come forward. I waited for my father to admit to it. I was sure he did this as revenge for defying him all those years ago. Instead, a seven-year-old started crying. I recognized her as one of my assistant's daughters. She said she was tired of eating seaweed, that she hated it, so she ruined the tank not knowing its importance. Everybody hung their heads in silence, wondering if this was the end. My dad was the first to speak up, son, you are so damn smart, there has to be another way to survive. Unfortunately, there was dot our shelter possessed something that was very high in vitamin B12. Organ meat. Hearts, livers, kidneys, 